It's Senny and Finn's Games and Grabs Podcast. Now sponsored by Gamerborn Clothing. Go to gamerborn.co.uk and use code DDGAMING or 10% off your next order. What's happening guys? Welcome to episode 63 of the Games and Grabs Podcast. I'm Sunny, and with me as always... It's Finn Steele. Hello. Finn, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Yeah? Yes. Feeling good, feeling refreshed. Feeling happy. Refreshed? Yes. And happy? Yes. Everything all at once. What a time to be alive. Yeah. How are you? I'm good, man. I, you know, I'm good. <laughs> How's your hair this week? It's better this week, yeah. I've sorted it out. Good. I didn't like it last week. No? It was fine. I mean, it was too bold on one side, so I had to brush it over. I'm so vain, it's just beyond belief. <laughs> yeah, if anyone's wondering why there wasn't video in last week's episode, it's because uh, seeing it like his hair. No. Oh, and I'm like, me, I can't do it. Oh, yeah, no. pretty much. <laughs> it was just hair today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was bad, so uh, we just didn't do it. Now you've, I've sorted it out. I mean, you've seen me, right? My stupid hair, my ugly gap tooth and noodle arms. <laughs> I didn't like my hair. So. It's fine. It's fine. We've got, we've got video this week. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. I'm wearing a shirt this week. I'm just where I've just come. Fre- I'm fresh from work, like I am most weeks. Yeah. Um. I'm I'm corporate sunny today. Yeah, <laughs> corporate sunny. Yeah. I like it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> um. What have you been playing? Uh, what have I been playing? I'm playing mostly Zelda, to be honest. Okay. I've been playing a lot of Zelda. So addicted to Zelda. I think I've even played Persona Five this week. I'm playing some of Zelda. Yeah. How like, many hours do you think you've ploughed into Zelda so far? Because it just sucks you in, man. It, it does. does. A lot. I don't know exactly how many. Um, but it's like every time you finish, there's always something else to do. It's like, well, once, I, once I play next time, I can go do that. And then that's always in your mind. So I want to jump on it and do that thing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just never stop playing it. So good. Yeah, it's it's so ridiculously good. I mean, when we do our games of the year oh, at the end of the year, I have no doubt that it's going to be floating around the oh, top yeah, somewhere. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, it's just so brilliant. If you go back about 10 episodes maybe more um <laughs> you can hear me just gushing completely over it and it is really really superb yeah it's so good uh what else i'm playing played the uh, arms uh, global test punch on the switch uh, and it was fine okay. uh, <laughs> i don't think it's going to be the mega hit and nintendo wants it to be uh it was fun it, but a lot just mo- it's just like motion controls in a fighting game just don't quite work it's not quite there. so what are we looking at here are we looking controls at a on, mm. a wee boxing type scenario with the way you punch or pretty much you just you just punch straight forwards or straight punch you can twist it to do like a twisting punch got like special moves and all sorts of stuff but the controls for me just weren't precise enough sometimes i'll be going for a punch and i'll be doing grab instead um, so it is joy con based oh uh, yeah yeah it's all joy con based and mm-hmm. you do like dashes you can jump and do, there is some technical stuff to it but i don't think it's going to be the mega hit that nintendo wants it to be um but it was fun. If you're playing it with friends, it's, it's, it's a good laugh. But So with this yeah. global test fire that they did, is it like um, the same that they did with uh, Splatoon 2, where it was like a couple of hours? Yeah, pretty much. It's like, like an hour at the Why time. Why do they do that? Why can't they just have a normal... Do you have to <laughs> download this file just to... I mean, uh, yeah. did you play an hour? Oh, yeah, I played, played a couple of hours. I played it one to my own to get used to it and played an hour on stream. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's Nintendo. It's a very Nintendo thing to do. <laughs> well, that's fair enough. I, yeah. I mean, you can't even argue with it. It yeah. just is, isn't it? It's like it's when, when I saw that uh, Splatoon was going to have that global test fire for a couple of hours, I was like, I am going to download this file, but I'm going to get about half an hour on this. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't oh, know. well. Yeah, it, was, it was all right. Okay. Was, not going to okay. purchase? Mm, I don't think so. Okay. More, than, more than quite good enough for me. Sorry. Not sold. <laughs> not sold completely. Okay. There you go. That's the verdict on ARMS for the Nintendo Switch. Yes. It was okay. Um, <laughs> okay. We also got back into Overwatch a little bit. Pretty much on that. Oh wow, we haven't I haven't heard those that yeah. word in a long, long time. That they got like an anniversary event on. They thought oh, that'd be nice to jump back in that during the anniversary thing. Um, yeah, it's fun. Just yeah, shooting dudes in the face. <laughs> it's Overwatch. You've, you know, Overwatch still love it as much as you did. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. It's a good to take a broken a broken bit every now and again. Otherwise, you just get too um, I don't know, distracted by it and never play anything else. <laughs> it's one of those kind of games. I was like, I'll play it one more time. It's like a couple of games to watch. Yeah. And then you're playing it at like two o'clock in the morning. It's like, uh, it's one more game to watch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's nice. Nice to get back into it. Still got the hooks. Yeah, yeah. Still, still okay, in me. Fair enough. Still in me. Um, spell it. What have you been playing? Uh, I've been playing a lot of Pro Evolution Soccer 2017. Shocking. Like, <laughs> I've got... Yeah, I know. That, that's my Overwatch. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, it really is. Like, game. Master League just has me sucked in. Like... <laughs> nice. Oh, I'll just take this on for a couple of games. A few hours later, I'm still playing it. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm in the transfer window and I want to strengthen my team. I just take it way too seriously. Like, I'm doing really well at the minute. It's yeah. the best I've done in the like the four seasons that I've played. Nice. 
It's, it's like me playing competitive in Overwatch. It's like, you get like a certain rank. So I'm in gold, but I could be platinum. Then it gets platinum. So yeah, I yeah. could get just to diamond. Then, ooh, you get so close to diamond, then you got a losing streak and you go right back to like early platinum. It's like, yeah. It's like, I, 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 I want to get back to diamond. Yeah, it's like, I get, <laughs> I get partway through the season and I'm already thinking about next season and like how I'm going to strengthen my team and how... Because I've been doing rubbish and not been getting into the Champions League, but now I want to get into the Champions League and I want to... Not only that, I want to win the league and I'm sort of... I'm always thinking about how I can strengthen my team and uh, I'm doing really well at the minute and I've got a great team. So hopefully this is my year. Hopefully. Hopefully. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Hashtag um, good luck, Tony. What else have I been playing? I've been playing... Sports. I've been playing some more uh, NBA Playgrounds. Oh, uh, yeah. Which I really, really love. It looks fun. Um, it's... I don't know, it's... There's something about it. I just love it so much. It's just... It's cartoony, goofy film. It is. Like it, NBA it, Jam, kind of the, the way it works is very, very good. I mean, you heard me talk about this a couple of weeks back when I when I first started playing it. But it, it is very, very good. It's just a lot of fun. And I think multiplayer would be a lot of fun as well. Yeah. Um, so maybe we should uh, look into that at some point. Yeah, we should. That'd I tried good. online and got thraped. But um, <laughs> that's literally the first time I tried it online. And uh, thankfully, nice? I, did, uh, I tried it live on the stream for the first time <laughs> so uh, not only did they get watching. whooped I got whooped in front of the world yeah, good yeah. times <laughs> and uh, we've also been playing Friday the 13th mm. it's very cool uh, kind of. it is cool <laughs> but it's broken a little it's, broken it isn't a complete game um, when it first came out on consoles um, it all came out all at the same time PC yeah. and consoles PC worked really well but fuck them and <laughs> <PC> um, nerds <laughs> yeah <laughs> and nerds <laughs> but uh, on Xbox One and PS4, it just it didn't work. You couldn't get a game. Me and uh, Gaming Mule, we were doing the Saturday morning show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we, we must have played three matches at most during that whole two hours. Jeez. We just we just gave up. We were like, yeah, yeah it's fine. Uh, but me and Denzel played it last night on the stream, and uh, we we got continuous games, and it was a, a, we, we had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, it looked fun. I was watching it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get it as well. It'd be nice to have a big group stream with me yeah, and me all them. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. It'd be cool. really, really cool for all of, like, all of us at Daydream to like try and get it and play it. Yeah, Because uh, it, it'd be amazing in a private server. I think. Oh, yeah. Like, one of us is Jason, um, six or seven of us is the counsellors. Well, I'm not sure why they're called that. Now, I oh, have yeah. seen the Friday the 13th movies. I haven't. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> so weird that's all, that's all I know the kiki mama the kiki mamas yeah yeah so weird but uh, so I don't yeah, know why so they're good. called counsellors to me they're just uh, sex crazed teenagers wait that's just triggered triggered me back triggered. to a podcast from a few weeks ago didn't oh, we yeah. weren't we talking about this game probably and I think we Possibly. used the term sex crazed teenagers oh uh, yeah I think we did yeah I think we did oh, my god wow <laughs> memories yeah <laughs> Hmm. Either way, um, it's yeah. it's two separate games, really. I mean, when you when you are the the counselors, I don't like that. We'll call them sex crazed teenagers. It's better. Um, SCT. Sorry. SCT. Sex crazed teenagers. I was going to say they they'll come out with some STDs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. Good to sex jokes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you spell that jingle. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, so basically, there's ways to escape Jason. So you can go hunting around the map for different part, different sort of things. You can like fix a telephone, uh, and so you can call the police to come and get you. Um, you can. There's two cars on the map. One has one is for four people. One is for two. You can fix them up, and um, you can escape that way. Uh, I like, I like one, of the, one of the games you played. Like two people in the car, like a third person there. And I thought that bird going to get in, so just drove off and out. Yeah. Like, no, wait for me. <laughs> there was also a brilliant part of that stream where Denzel was Jason. Oh, yeah. And just got fucked up. Oh, he did, yeah, yeah. Like so four of us got in a car about three minutes into the match and just went. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <that's> <laughs> he <good>. killed one <laughs> person out of the seven of us. It was brilliant. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's uh, it's a it's a fun game. It's it's not a full price retail game, which is the correct decision. Yeah. Uh, I don't feel like it should be £30 either. I think if it was 20 That'll be the perfect price for it. But uh, I do recommend it. So it's a bit of fun. Yeah. And we'll that, that's all it needs to be, really. Just a yeah. bit of fun. So uh, I go. I would go check it out. Cool. Uh, picked up Far Cry 4 this week. Oh, ah, yes. Haven't played it yet. Picked it up real cheap after watching Bearded Buffoon play it uh, on Daydreamer. Nice. Um, um, so I'm looking forward to getting stuck into that. I might try it out tonight. But awesome. uh, yeah, other than that, I've... Uh, 
Not really been playing much. Dipped into Injustice a little bit. Oh, yeah. Obsessed with multiverse mode. Barely even touched the story, which is <laughs> one of the reasons I was so excited for it in the first place. But yeah. um, great game. Really great game. Um, fun. For a fighting game fan, I think it's cool that there's so many good fighting games around at the minute. And yeah, uh, cool. one big one coming soon, and we're going to talk about that shortly. Ooh. So, yeah. Awesome. Good stuff. Hit me with that gaming news, Finn. Gaming news. Uh, not a whole lot this week. Okay. Uh, got a few things, though. Um, Sonic Mania, the uh, classic 2D uh, 16-bit style Sonic game, which I'm very looking forward to. Mm. Um, it's got a release date. It's coming out on the 15th of August. Not Is that on everything? Uh, pretty much, yeah. I think PC, PS4, Xbox One, PC, all that. Switch as well. And, and yeah, Switch as well. Um, so that'll be good. Looking forward to that. I have, have the collector's edition pre-ordered since, like, months ago. I'm glad <laughs> we're getting that in this country because it yeah. looks amazing. It looks so good. Come like a little Mega Drive and push a button and it's just, yeah. there you go. It looks cool. So, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, it's the Sonic game we all need. Um, yes. I mean, I didn't like I mean, Sonic so. 4. Um, a lot of people didn't like it. I thought it was okay. But I'm a huge Sonic fan, so anyway. So, so I liked the biased. first episode, but yeah. then I didn't like it after that. It's weird that it came out in episodes, and there were only two episodes. Weird. Yeah. Um, yeah. Weird one, but yeah, it's all right. Um, but the, yeah, but this, uh, they announced like a, they showed off like a trailer with like uh, Sonic CD style animation. Um, it looks super cool. Go watch it. Yeah, it looks really great. Really, really great. Um, PlayStation Plus games have been announced. Um, well, two of them have anyway. Uh, got Life is Strange with PS4 and uh, Killing Floor 2, which is like a fun multiplayer Left 4 Dead style game. Good solid month for PlayStation Plus. Yeah, it's a good one. Um, it's better than Games with Gold this month. I think so. Uh, and that's probably for the first time ever as well. <laughs> first time in a long time, yeah. Uh, but Life Definitely. is Strange is really, really superb. Um, deals with a girl who has... Um, time altering capabilities uh, it's got a beautiful soundtrack mm-hmm. um, and it has very good dialogue with great characters um, yeah, great story it is in episodes uh, it's like a Telltale game but there's a bit more about it than a Telltale game mm. so go definitely check it out yeah, absolutely worth too. free easy platinum yeah, yeah. Um, you just have to take a bunch of photographs and stuff like that so look at this photograph is that like Nickelback <laughs> What's a Nickelback? Um, so Killing Floor Two. Nickelback song, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah, it's a it's, it's memes. Um, so Killing <laughs> <laughs> Killing Floor Two. Because it's like, memes. Yeah, uh, it's Killing Floor Two. It looks like a sort of Left 4 Dead style uh, first bench shooter. Okay. Uh, we should definitely stream that. <laughs> it's okay. free. We never it's got a great it. name. Uh, yeah, I and played the first one on PC like forever ago. It was a lot of fun. Okay. Um, so yeah, we should, we should definitely stream that. There we go. Along with uh, thingy. 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 Excellent. Friday yeah. 13th. Uh-huh. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, um, Killing Floor does look quite cool. It's been in the sale for what seems like forever in a day. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, th- that's one I'm sort of looking forward to as well. Yeah. We'll stream it for sure. Good stuff. Uh, there's some news that Hitman might be saved after all. Because last week we talked about um, how I interactive... Hashtag uh, save Hitman. Hashtag save Hitman. Because there's news last week how... Uh, hashtag Hitman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you about that. You can figure it out. <laughs> this week's title. Uh, what? Hashtag Hitman. Yeah. yeah. It won't be. Anyway. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I interactive uh, got <laughs> let go, I guess, by Go Enix. Um, along with Hitman. Hitman got left in limbo because I wasn't sure who owned it. Uh, Pandas Square do still own it. But uh, are willing to let uh, I interactive... Um, have the rights to Hitman potentially um, still good up, that's good yeah it's still up in the air at the minute but it looks like it might be a thing uh, which would be good because we'd like to see a season 2 of Hitman and yeah we did um, talk about this um, a couple of weeks ago when it was first announced but that really is a great game yes the episodic approach did um, kill it and it's um, not so great launch didn't do it that many favours but come on guys I mean it has had a lot of very 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 good press yeah. since and and it really is an outstanding game. So if you haven't played it, go play it. Yes. And uh, support it because it'd be really cool for it to get a season two. Uh, because now they know how to do it. The episodic approach is absolutely the correct way to go about it. Definitely. Uh, because you can get hours, uh, literally hours out of those yeah. uh, out of those I was episodes. Level, yeah. What's your? Because it's just numerous ways to approach the kills and all that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, I hope we do get a season two. I don't think it really matters that it's not going to be published by Square. No, I don't think so. Um, as long as it's made by the people that made it, um, somebody will pick it up and publish it. It yeah. doesn't really matter. I think it's season two will do better than season one, just because people know what it is and know what to expect now. Um, so many people want it. I mean, so many yeah, people yeah. were sort of crying out, hashtag save it, man, <laughs> on the day that you know all this news came out about IO Interactive and stuff. So the interest is there, for sure. And hopefully, you know... 
everything will work out and be have a happy ending. Yes, good, good, good to do it, man. I've always keep looking around my <laughs> my laptop. By the way, I'm gonna hit my pop in the way. Uh, <laughs> didn't do a good job setting my microphone this week. Um, what else? Oh, the um, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite uh, roster has been potentially leaked. Uh, I've got a list of characters here. Um, got Arthur from um, Ghosts and Goblins, uh, Chris Redfield from Resident Evil, Chun Li, Dante from Devil May Cry, uh, Firebrand from uh, Ghosts and Goblins again, Jeddah, shrug, um, Monster Hunter characters, <laughs> um, Morrigan from um, Dark Stalkers, Nemesis again from Resident Evil, uh, Ryu, Spencer, not sure. Oh, I think that's by Final Commander guy, isn't it? With, yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Strider, Ryu from. Um, Strider, yeah, obviously. <laughs> X. So X, is, I think it's Mega Man X. Oh, okay. Uh, Ant-Man, this new one. Cool. Uh, Captain America, Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange, Gamora, Hawkeye, Hulk, Door Slam, <laughs> um, Hulk, Iron Man, Nova, Shrug. Uh, one here just says Rocket and Slash Groot. Uh, so Rocket is Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy. Groot, of course, is the... Uh, uh, I'm assuming if it's Rocket Slash Groot, then it's uh, either Baby Groot or it's uh, a, a Groot that will come onto the screen and help Rocket. Yeah, so it could be that control. That's literally an assumption. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Spider-Man, because of course, uh, Thanos, Thor, and Ultron. Cool. Okay, cool. Gr- good good lineup. Good sort list, yeah. I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, I'm not very good at the last one. As you can see, if you go to uh, <laughs> the Sonny and Finn YouTube channel, Finn absolutely destroyed me. Did a bit, yeah. <laughs> Not even a bit, it was just was. It was a complete demolition. Yeah, yeah I did play a fair bit too when it first came out. Yeah, fair <laughs> good game though. Really very, good game. Very game, yeah. Definitely bet. What and, a year uh, for fighting games though. Yeah, good year. Very good year. Really good year. It's better, probably the best year in recent memory. Yeah. I mean, of course, there's always fighters being released as we're on about King of Fighters 835. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, there's always a version of Street Fighter 2 kicking about. Yep. Um, but this year, you know, we've got Tekken, Injustice, uh, you know, Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, just, just, it's great. Yeah, very cool. There has been another version of Street Fighter 2, just released on the Nintendo Switch. Yep, yep. Um, speaking of fighting games, do you got any more news this week? Yes, please. Yep. Um, do you have any, I mean? Oh, do I have any news? Yeah. Oh, no. No, okay. I, well, thought, you, in I that thought, case... thought you said you want some more news this week. I was oh, thinking, okay. yes, please. <laughs> well, in that case, no any more news. Uh, let's go through our list of games. This month, what's the, what's the jingle again? You just made the list. <laughs> yeah. Of, of games, games coming, coming out, out this month. Words. Me list. You nearly got it spot on. Always got then. You just made a list. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, on June the 2nd, uh, I'm about this. <laughs> June the 2nd, <laughs> we have an excellent fighting game, Tekken 7. Oh, Again, man. very good review so far. Excited for that one. Uh, I'm so excited. Um, all of the... I mean, Tekken 6 was, was good, but it wasn't... There was something about Tekken yeah, 6 that just felt like it was missing something. And then they mm. brought out that free Tekken, which was a shambles. I don't remember that one. Yeah, it was. I think it was on PS3. Oh, right. It was a free to play Tekken game, and it good. it just wasn't very good. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was the the fundamentals of Tekken, but I don't know it was, no, it was crap. Hmm. But Lovely. this looks really good. Um, looks like there's a full cinematic story mode that's going to awesome. end the uh, uh, Mishima rivalry. Mishima. Um, but yeah, it looks really, really good. Good stuff. I just can't wait. We're going to play it for sure. We're going to play it. Definitely. Uh, we'll stream it, and he'll beat me for sure. I well, did perfect. Uh, Tekken 6 on 360. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Um, Good game. Really Tekken Tag Tournament, uh, which Tekken Tag Tournament 2 I have on mm. the Xbox One. Oh, uh, yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, it is fun. It doesn't I- even look like uh, an Xbox 360 game anymore. It just looks so good. Awesome. Good stuff. Um, Forgot what I was going to say. Good times. Good. <laughs> so- oh, wait. No, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Am I right in saying that there's New Japan licensing in Tekken 7? Have oh, I seen yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a sort of like... T- Bird Club t-shirt with Tekken's thing on it yeah I but, think you might be right but I don't think it's exclusive to the Japan version of the game either because I think King has some sort of New Japan type arena slash that'd be awesome. attire yeah I think it might be right that'd uh, be super cool that'd be really cool maybe King's part of the Bullet Club now <laughs> I would mark out for a King Bullet Club t-shirt <laughs> yeah me too I fucking love uh, King so good uh, especially the reason I love Tekken <laughs> yeah. I love a Tornado DDT love it so good so good. I love investing moves, just finding way into games randomly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's so it's good. Like wrestling games, it's, there's wrestling games, in, uh, wrestling games, wrestling moves in Friday the 13th. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like Jason does a bear hug, a backbreaker, oh, and nice. like something else. It's like, why are these moves in these games? <laughs> Let it wrestling fan help me the game. Yeah. 
Awesome. Um, Wrestling's everywhere. Everyone loves it. No um, one admits it. Yep. <laughs> On uh, June 6th, we have uh, Dark Rose Valkyrie, which is a uh, part role-playing game, part riddle novel. So I'd like it. That's uh, a definite thing game. Definite thing game, for like, sure. If ever there was one, that is it. Yep. <laughs> uh, it looks fun. Um, for Finn. For me. Uh, we've also got the uh, Elder Scrolls Online expansion, uh, Morrowind, which looks... Uh, could be fun if you're a fan of uh, Elder Scrolls Online. Um, same day, we've got the Wipeout Omega Collection. Oh, yeah. Now, that one I'm very excited about. Oh, I yeah. want to order the um, physical release because of the box. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought that was awesome. yeah. yeah, it's, it's cool. really cool. And it's only 30 quid as well, so it's awesome. absolutely worth looking at. Yeah, it comes with Wipeout HD, Wipeout HD Fury, and Wipeout 2048. Which is the which we established the other week was the Vita version? I think so. Maybe. Either way, that's going to be brilliant. Uh, those are great games. Yeah. Check, yeah. There's games like it, um, like the one that's on Switch, forgot what it's called. Um, so oh, um, uh, shoot, yeah. Fast RMX. Yes, Fast Remix. Yes. I'm going to call it that. That sounds good. Uh, yes, it's a, it's a PC game, apparently. Wipeout 2048. Yeah, because yeah. we had that We had that discussion, I don't know if you remember. Oh, I don't. Um, <laughs> where I, I thought so. it was Wipeout 2047, which was the sequel to the original PlayStation game. Ah, uh, yeah. So you got the oh, original yeah. Wipeout. Uh, Wipeout HD, which I think is the remake that came out on PS3, I think. I don't know. Who cares? It's going to be awesome anyway. Who who even remembers things? Sure. Not me. <laughs> Definitely not you. <laughs> on uh, June 9th, we have <laughs> Dirt 4. Um, big, okay. Big fan of the first two Dirt games. Didn't play a lot of three. Um, Dirt Rally got a good review, uh, but I never played it. God, it's fucking hard. I've got it. Oh, yeah? Oh, God, Finn, it's so, <laughs> so hard. Yeah, like, it caters toward more towards the hardcore rally fans, which yeah. I'm not. Me, me um, and Denzel bought it. We were like, this is going to be brilliant. <laughs> like, we played an hour each, and we were like, shit, this is hard. <laughs> like, driving off cliffs and all sorts of crap, and it was like, why have we bought this? Yeah, this is not for us. <laughs> this is this is not for us. We, we should just play Forza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that could be a cool one. Don't fall. Yeah, them ones, pretty, pretty, pretty those pretty ones that are numbered... They are catered for the the more casual. Yeah. Uh, Dirt Rally, no, it's not. Not, not so much, yeah. <laughs> and uh, June 16th, we have a game we talked about earlier, Arms, on Nintendo Switch. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a big month. It's, it's a good month. month for games, actually. Very good. Mm. On June 20th, we have the expansion for Final Fantasy XIV, Stormblood. Right, I need to talk to you about this. Okay. I don't get it. Right, <laughs> I don't... I just don't get it. <laughs> right, so Final Fantasy XV has like, come out last year. Right? Correct. Excellent game. Great game. Now, hasn't there been a version of Final Fantasy XII come out recently as well? Uh, it's coming out soon. An HD, right. HD version. Why do they keep... And now this like, <laughs> more expansions for Final Fantasy XIV. Mm-hmm. I don't get it. I just don't... How do they keep <laughs> revisiting these games? Um, well, it's, it's, they're not like any story place in between any of them. Um, just like random stories. Not random stories. But Are they made by different people? No, it was Grey Nix. But they're all, they're all their own self-contained story. We need, we need one. Whoops. And... Uh, yeah, so 11 and 14 are multi- like online multiplayer ones. Japanese games fuck with me. They mess with yeah. my head. I don't understand. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, this is basically cool. It has a bunch of new jobs. Got Red Mage, Samurai. Um, Red Mage was a class I played in uh, 11. Um, so I'm very tempted to go back and check that out. Um, and yeah, PS3 version didn't exist anymore, sadly. Um, it's coming out on PS4, PC and Mac, apparently. Mac? Yeah, weird. No didn't, one games on a Mac. Didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Didn't know that. Interesting. Um, but yeah, you can try the free version if you want. Um, free trial to download. I probably won't do it. I probably won't. <laughs> I have to be honest. I'm sure it's great. I, I'm sure it really is great. And to be honest, the stuff that I've seen of it makes it look great. Yeah, it looks really, really cool. I just... Uh, yeah, I'm it. just not going to play it. Yeah, I just don't have time. <laughs> Let's get back into it, but I'll, I'll try. One day. Um... <laughs> What else have we got here? Yeah, start off the page. Oh, it's uh, June 23rd. We have a game called Ever Oasis on the 3DS. Uh, it's a game made by Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes, guys. It looks, it looks alright. It's a little fun little Zelda-style game, I think. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, why not? And uh, June 27th, we have a console release of uh, Dead by Daylight, which is a uh, very similar to Friday the 13th-style game. One guy controls a monster, four other people play as survivors, and you have to escape. Okay. Uh, looks fun. Fun with the dream. Um, we also have Val- Valkyria Revolution, which is a sequel to Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, apparently it's more action-focused, whereas it's more like strategy games. It's more about action. Very, 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 very thin game. 
very anime kind okay. of style, yeah. Yeah, no, you're saying <laughs> things I don't even understand at the minute. I'm yeah, just sort of fair. nodding along and thinking... Words, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, these are, these are these, words. These are words that exist. Yeah. <laughs> these I are think, words that Finn can actually say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and on June 30th, perhaps the biggest game is the Crash uh, Insane Trilogy. Do you uh, think that's the biggest game of the month? I think so. That would take in. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I think... Sales-wise, Crash will be the biggest game of the month. Yeah, a lot of people love the old Crash games. And like it's so it. cheap. Yeah, it looks, how much is it? Like thirty quid, something. Like if you go, if you buy it off Amazon, it's like twenty-seven. A bargain. Yeah. yeah. Um. So you get the three Crash games. Uh, I'm sure we'll play it. Oh yeah, for sure. I'll yeah. shoot for sure. I'm not. I've never been the biggest Crash fan. I love no. the first one. Uh, in fact, I love the second one more than the first one. Yeah, two and three are my favorite ones. I think. Um, I remember when I bought two. And I like you know when you were a kid and you never want games to end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I just ploughed through it. It was so good. Yeah. Um, so I, you know I'm looking forward to revisiting Crash. Maybe it'll bring back some uh, nice bit of nostalgia for me. Yeah. Fun but, times. Um, we'll we'll probably just go halves on it to be honest because we're cheap bastards like that. We are, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, look forward to that one. Thank and, you, Sony. Uh, yeah, thanks, Eddie. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it for games of June. Yes, June. They just made the list. They just made the list. Of Fun games times coming out in June. Yes. Good stuff. I think that's it for all where gaming stuff. Yeah, Anything I think else? so. Um, no, not really. Cool. Yeah. Um, we do have wrestling to talk about. Of course we do. We do. Of course. This is a wrestling podcast. Graps. Graps. Yeah, that's where Graps part comes from. Um, I talked <laughs> about NXT in Manchester. Oh. Um, in light of the recent Manchester attacks, WWE have taken it upon themselves to cancel the show that was going to be next Tuesday in Manchester at the Manchester Evening News Arena if it's still called that um, Manchester Arena whatever yeah. um, that's sad yeah so you, if you were going to go that you can't go that anymore sucks understandably though yeah I but that. NXT are at the Download Festival and cool. I will be at the Download Festival with Gaming Ooh. Mule nice um, so yeah we'll, we'll, we'll watch NXT there excellent Fun good times. times we thought we report back We'll do. We were thinking of uh, <laughs> streaming to our channel straight from our phones. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, just to just for something funny to do. Yeah, yeah. The channel. That'd be cool. Sunny and gaming mule live at download. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> mule's mule's been thinking on trying to get back into wrestling. He, he got his free trial subscription on WWE Network. Yeah. Watch some NXT, and uh, I think he likes it. I think he likes it too. Yeah. Uh, he watched Backlash. That um, so his first experience <laughs> of wrestling was Jinder Mahal oh, in the uh, <laughs> WWE Championship. Yeah, he's on again. was booing. This guy's great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Imagine if you're you're a new wrestling fan. Yeah. And like the first thing you see is Jinder winning the title. And you're like, I don't know what all these people's problem is. <laughs> yeah. I like this guy. He's ripped. He's big. He looks like a wrestler. Yeah. He's wearing pants. Exactly. It's cool. <laughs> and that is like just people in the crowd like shocked. It's like what's what's so shocking? <laughs> uh, good times. This Very is, good times. This is Roman Reigns getting booed. He's like, what? Everyone's booing this guy. He's great. Yeah, he's got muscles and stuff. <laughs> yeah, and great hair. Yeah, great hair, <laughs> top beard, chiseled jaw. What, what, what's, what's not to like? <laughs> yeah. This is... <laughs> he likes Superman just like me. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Fun times. <laughs> He'll learn. He'll learn. One day. I've awesome too. <laughs> they all learn. He'll learn one day. He'll be a mark in no time. <laughs> yep. Marks. Marks. All right, nice. let's uh, talk about Extreme Rules. So Extreme Rules... Extreme rules. Is this coming Sunday? It sure um, is. Raw just gone was the go home show. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen it because my means of watching Raw has not been working. Eey. So Finn is going to guide us through Raw. I know I've I've caught a gist of what happens. I've caught the highlights. I just haven't seen the full show. So I ha- I'm allowed my opinion. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so it started off with uh, Miss TV. The Miss. The Miss. The special guest Seamus and Cesaro. Do do do. Seamus and Cesaro. Do, do, what happened to that? That's been. That's, that's just a raw after mania thing, isn't it? Yeah, I was waiting to to uh, stick around. I thought it was good. American um, fans, they don't they don't cheer wrestling. They don't, do they? They're they just fickle. watch. Yeah, it's like Japan. They watch and boo and say silent through like. Yeah, they, they watch. <laughs> quiz race. Chance CM Punk, Ugh. um, boo, and then talk about it on Twitter after. <laughs> yeah, that's complain wrestling. on Twitter, pretty much. Um, so Simpsons and I were talking about um uh, beating up the Hardys, and they said that the Hardys are like the new toys. In WWE, and that they were going to break them. Get it? Break the Hardys. Yeah. Ah. Uh, 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 Hardys broken. Oh. Yeah. Get it? Got it. <laughs> then there, then we were talking about beating Dean Ambrose, and then Dean Ambrose came down, and then the Hardys came down, and then the tag match ensued. Oh. Because what of a course surprise. it does. Yeah. Teddy Long. Hola hola. Yeah. Um. I, I almost feel like nobody can interrupt anything without <laughs> them just getting thrown into a match. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh. It's a fun match. A little bit botchy here and there, but fun match. 
Get to the way to kick it off. Um, oh yeah, uh, after that match, uh, Corey Graves got distracted by his phone and wandered off. And then backstage, he went to uh, Kurt Angle, sending like a mysterious text message, which he received, which could ruin Kurt Angle as GM. Hmm, mystery. Intrigue. What I think this is going to be um, is something to set up a rivalry for Kurt Angle to wrestle. That'd be cool. What it is, I don't know. Who it could be. Mm. Again, I don't know. Um, but I think that's what it is. I mean, they're obviously setting up some sort of storyline for Kurt to wrestle. That'd Probably awesome. at SummerSlam, I, if I was going to hazard a guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I mean, Kurt Angle can still go. He's in good shape. Um, oh, yeah. And they need something. And this is what it'll be. Uh, it'll be a mystery until this person turns up. So whether it's somebody new, somebody returning, no one knows, of course. But um, yeah, I, th- I do think this is to set uh, a feud for Kurt. Yeah, that'd be cool. I like to see uh, Corey Graves getting involved in storylines as well. Me too. Um, and I found something interesting later on in the show as well when Big Cass was sort of threatening. I know we'll talk about this anyway, but yeah, yeah. when Big Cass was sort of threatening Corey Graves for insinuating that Big Cass was the one who had uh, attacked Enzo. Yes. Um, for the record, uh, I do think it's Big Cass. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> Me too. I don't think it could be any more obvious. <laughs> yeah, the same. Why else I got my have face it? if it's not. But yeah. <laughs> I think it is. I mean... Um, it was Enzo's love. Hold on. They need to split them up. Um, this yeah, is just Big Cass trying to cover his back or whatever. But yes. it's cool to see Corey, Grave, Corey Graves, plural. That's the one. Um, <laughs> two Corey Graves. Um, <laughs> yes, multiple. Multiple Corey Graves. Uh, but it's cool to see him getting into storylines. I would love it if he's been cleared to compete. That'd be or awesome. he's taken that decision upon himself that he is ready to compete. Yes, yeah, I know he got a lot of concussion problems. Um, yeah, so I'm not I mean, sure. he made that decision himself. I don't think that decision was made for him. Oh, really? Oh, uh, sure. I think he took the decision upon himself because it was they were very they were in quick succession. So mm. when Corey Graves got injured first time, he came back and was in the thick of it in NXT, and then got injured again. Yeah, same nice. thing, and it's just like I, I think kind of grind a little bit. He then took it upon himself to call it a day. Yeah. Um, it's a shame. Sad because I like I quite like Corey on this in NXT. Yeah, great music too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. It's the best reason to play WWE 2K15. Oh yeah, to give me Corey Graves. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else happened? Oh, uh, Elias Sampson was there singing in the ring as he does, uh, and then beat up a jobber in a very quick match, which is uh, fine. Um, Did, no. I mean, <laughs> I don't mind Elias Sampson. Yeah, he's right. Yeah, the fans hate him. Yeah, that's good because he's a heel. Yeah, supposed to which is exactly what's supposed to happen. <laughs> he's got a cool move in the show. It's like a, it's kind of like a um, crossroads, but backwards. It's like more like a neck breaker. I think that's what it was anyway, wasn't it? Was it? I can't yeah, remember. it was like a roll of the dice, wasn't it? They used to call it. Oh uh, yeah. Um, or no, it was somewhere with drift in it. I'm, I think maybe. Um, but yeah, I think that's what his finishing move was before. Although oh, okay. I can't quite be yeah. sure. Didn't have a whole lot of matches in NXT, did he? But uh, when he did, he lost. Yeah, it's true. But it's cool to see him on the, on TV, and he looks cool. So. Yeah, fine to me. Yeah, me too. The marks won't be happy with it. <laughs> yeah, well, they never, they never, they never happy. No, they never happy with <laughs> uh, We had a good drop that match. It was a Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt versus Samoa Joe. Mm. It's like right the nose. How is it not the main event? Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, very good match. Starts off with like a free fall, but then uh, eventually Joe and uh, Bray teamed up to attack Finn Balor, which eventually backfired when uh, I think uh, Bray Wyatt attacked Samoa Joe, and then uh, Finn. Uh, ended up winning with the coup de uh, It looked like it sort of looked like um, Bray forgot what the next part was because Finn was up on the rope to do a thing, and then Bray kind of wandered off. He said, "Oh, so he said he jumped down and go after him and reset." <laughs> but he hit the coup de grace and uh, he won. It's so good, excellent. Um, this is cool. Uh, I like that these are the guys that Raw is going to be centered around. Yes, um, me too. Because it's something fresh. It's yeah, the... yeah. That's uh, that is the long and short of it. It's Fresh. Uh, Fresh. Finn Exciting. is excellent. Bray is excellent. Thank Joe you. is excellent. Oh, I mean, yeah, okay. Yeah, not you. So. <laughs> oh. Did you see that um, WWE 24, the Finn Balor one? I did, yes. Very good. Good, wasn't it? Very, very good. Yeah, I watched it the other day. It was very, very good. All of those shows are brilliant. Oh, so, yeah. um, highly recommended. Go watch it. Yes. But Raw's got an exciting future. When they take that title off Brock. Which they have to soon. Please. They've got to because <laughs> people are forgetting what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. I think it's red, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Just, People have to take they they have to take that belt off Brock. Yeah, that's, he's never there. That's, when is it? SummerSlam? They're gonna 
five, the winner of this think fatal five way. It's a great balls of fire. Uh, they won't take the belt off in there. Don't think so. No. <sighs> no way. Brock will. <laughs> well, they fight. Told, last week they sort of teased because um, Finn Balor got after it because Paul Heyman came to the ring and said, uh, if, "If Brock has to fight someone, they want him to face you, Finn." And he's like, "Ooh, cool." So, mm, uh, yeah, I'm awesome. not. I'm not sure. Is it realistic for Finn Balor to beat Brock? It would be shocking. I think what WWE likes. Um, Saying that we, you know, Finn Balor beat, beat Roman Reigns, so we did clean. Um, but yeah, we'll get to Shane Mosby in a bit. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, such a good match. Uh, then we had uh, Noam Dar with Lisa Fox versus Rich Swan versus with Tasha Banks because that's like two feuds going on at once. Um, Swan won with a Phoenix Splash. Uh, what happened to his stand like standing four fifty splash used to do? I don't anymore. know. Weird. I like that. I fought somebody on WWE Supercard um, oh, yeah. earlier on today, actually, who uh, had a uh, a season three Rich Swan card. Yeah. I'm a Supercard geek, by the way. Uh, I absolutely love it. I, I got a season three Brock Lesnar earlier on today, and it's got like four thousand for every, or everything. Yeah. If you're a WWE Supercard guy, you'll know what that means, and you'll know it's fucking awesome. So. I get it. It's great, Finn. I get. I've got it on my phone actually. I need to. It's so it's good. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, yeah, and the the super card. Basically, what they've done is they've like animated moves into the cards. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like, uh, Rich Swan does his stand in four fifty, which is really cool. Cool. Anyway, oh, right. um, she had a good, had a quick fun match. Um, Lisa Fox tried to interfere, but Sasha Banks uh, helped get rid of her. Uh, so I was good. And then Rich Swan and Sasha dancing in the ring, which was cute. Um, what else happened? Oh, we only had the revival they're having the backstage interview. They're back now. Um, Wait, already? Yes. Um, well, Dash still has his um, draw by cert, but it's Sucks. Looks very painful and horrible. Poor guy. Um, so, obviously, Dawson was doing all the talking. Um, so, they're not back back. Not back back. Not bursting back. Um, also, they showed they were spotted last week on War in like the backstage during some interview saying, oh, maybe it was them who attacked Enzo Moray. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, Steve texted me yesterday actually and asked my opinion on that w- whether it was an accident, them being shown backstage or. Yeah. I thought it was to start with, but now that, that they've highlighted it. And then he did, but he, in the same message, he was like, or oh, do you think it's part of this Enzo being attacked angle? Yeah. Uh, it won't be the revival because I think they're a while off coming yeah. back. Yeah, it's too obvious. And yeah, as you say, it's, it's, it'll be a while. Um, and yeah, that was the whole thing. Uh, after that, we think we talked about earlier, Big um, Corey Graves was talking about insinuating that Big Gas might have to do with Enzo Zach. And then Big Gas came and shouted at Corey Graves, which I like. Be interesting to see what happens like with it. Enzo when the inevitable happens and Big Cass and Enzo do split. Yes. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Well, uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure I mean, Big Cass is ready to be in the main event. Yeah. Are you not sure? Uh, I mean, I liked it that time when he was in the main event. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah did did put in a good, show, good show. show. I mean, I don't know, man. He's good. He's good. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Jury's out. More. Jury's out, yes. I, I, think he, I think he can do well. Yeah, I think so. He is a good talker. I think he'd be a better heel talker because of the way that he does... Um, project his promos yeah because he talks like this and blah 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 and <laughs> um you know enzo is obviously more the face but big cast is very serious when he talks yeah so i think he'll be better as a heel as far as at least as far as promo work goes oh yeah I agree. Um, and if he's gonna beat uh, enzo up then for sure he's the heel yeah definitely which is good and they can't have That's that match good. either though i will not have enzo <laughs> versus cast because <laughs> if they do have it, it has to be a squash it has Cass, to be Cass has to just destroy him and Make him look like a monster heel. Yeah, should be good. He has just has to completely destroy him. It's not worthy of a pay per view. <laughs> no. You have to have it on there. Then you make sure that Big Cass. Yeah, put it first on, and then just Big Cass destroy him. Just, just run through him. Yeah, that'd yeah. be good. That's that opinion. Um, there yeah, you go. <laughs> that'll happen. Um, <laughs> yeah, that means it won't happen. <laughs> yeah, Benjo win- winning the match, and uh. <laughs> so then we had a uh, match of the night. I'm kidding. Titus O'Neil versus Kalisto. Uh, this is the thing. Kalisto still isn't in the cruiserweight division. Can you yeah. believe oh, this nonsense? Dumb. Just put him in there. It'd be great. Um, Titus ended up winning. He counted a flippy thing into some sort of pin. Grabbed the tights. and uh, like Because Titus di- O'Neil really needs to <laughs> grab the tights to beat Kalisto. Yeah. He's huge. He's just uh, him over. <laughs> he's holding him back with, the, with his arms. Like, the thing is, I away. just don't get <laughs> what the situation is with Kalisto. Because he's... He's not your new Rey Mysterio. He just isn't. Yeah. As much as you want him to be, he's not. Sorry. So <laughs> you need to just put him in the cruiserweight division and have him compete with people his own size. Yeah. Because it would be 
Well, it'd be, it'd be great. It would. And it'd just be, you'd get great matches out of it. I mean, you know, it'd be awesome to see Rich One versus Kalisto and the different styles and just mix it up. Come That'd be perfect. Kalisto, be cool. But no, they keep messing around with Kalisto and putting him in these ridiculous feuds with big guys. Um, and I just don't see the point. It's either do something worthwhile with him or don't do anything just, at all and release yeah. him. Yeah. It's a shame. I like Kalisto, but... He's no Sin Cara. But of he's course not, everyone no, knows no, that. He's, 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 he's no, you're right. He, yeah. I can't believe he's not... That's who's going to win the Universal title. Of course, it's going to be yeah. a six-pack challenge at Extreme Rules. Yeah, I'll add him in last minute. Like, oh, one more competitor. Sin Cara, and they'll win the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Oh, definitely, um, yeah. Uh, then we had probably the worst segment of the of the night. Probably of, of the, the year. year. Of the millennium. Uh, Alexa Bliss presents Bailey. This is your life. Uh, now, Alexa Bliss is great. Everyone loves Alexa Bliss. Um, if anyone could pull this up, it was her. But the segment was so bad, not even seeing anything about it. It was terrible. Um, so they brought on, like, Bailey's former teacher and best friend and boyfriend and other garbage. Just made fun of her. And she was just awkward and shit, basically. <laughs> Don't watch it. It was garbage. Um, I understand trying to sell a feud. Yeah. Honestly, I do. But there's ways to do it, and you don't need to do it with garbage like that. Yeah, whoever, uh, whoever wrote that segment needs to be shot in the face. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to <laughs> Yeah. We're joking, obviously. Of course. We're joking, internet. Don't take it seriously. Yeah, don't uh, take it seriously, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know why WWE insist on pulling stunts like this. It's, it's weird. just... I mean, they must have been watching it backstage and just thought, this is crap. Yeah. yeah apparently, yeah, backstage weren't happy about it. And yeah, crowd hated it. I hated it. Backstage hated it. Everyone hated uh, it. Yep. The internet it. hates it. The internet hates everything. But, but yeah. <laughs> especially that. Yes. So, yeah. It's a shame. Both women deserve better. Um, yeah, so after that, Enzo died. He got attacked backstage again. And he's dead. Rip. Um, Rip. <laughs> just kidding, he's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we had uh, Austin Aries and Jack Gallagher versus GJP. No more Perkins, just GJP. Uh, and Neville. That's yeah. such a WWE thing to do. <laughs> yeah, remove this last name. Just yeah, bye, 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 last name. Yeah, just GJP. 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 And uh, yeah, then the third match. Um, Austin Aries made Neville tap out with his last chantry and he was, wasn't happy about it. Apparently um, this is the first time that Neville has tapped out uh, mm. since returning to the Cruiserweight division. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, also, the match at Extreme Wars is going to be a submission match, so uh, obviously setting that up. Mm. And I liked it. He did learn, uh, Neville did an impressive like, Phoenix Splash from the middle rope, which got counted. It looked cool. Lots of, lots of Phoenix Splashes going on these days. There Which is a lot of it? Phoenix Splashes going on these days. <laughs> yeah, with... Um, Seth Rollins did one late, early late night as well. Yeah. Hmm. Um, Paul Phoenix. Yeah. Paul, Paul Phoenix, Phoenix Splash. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's one of his new moves in Tekken. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> so, I think yeah. Paul Phoenix's hair is still in place. I bet it is. So I remember which one he is now. Paul Phoenix is the guy with the... Oh, the pointy hair, yeah. He's cool. Square hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fun times. You could just call it square hair. Square hair. Sorry. Square. I'll just get my coat. <laughs> 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 so that we had another um, classic Goldust segment. He'll go... He'll, yeah. Heal Goldust segment. Mm. Uh, very cool. I'm like, into this. I have to be honest, I'm me into too. it. Me too. Very cool. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's... Again, it's that thing where... I mean, uh, he was doing pretty much nothing with our truth and it was just becoming a laughable, skippable yep. segment every week. Garbage. And just like that, you can... He switched back to his old gimmick and all of a sudden people are interested again. Yep. This is, again, this is that argument. It's professional wrestling. Things change all the time. And it, t- it took a week... For Gold Dust to become relevant again, yeah. From what I highlight to Warp, I think this week, past couple of weeks, has been his uh, awesome segments. Yeah, very, very um, cool. And I'm, I mean, I love those Gold Dust segments from back in the day. Yeah, it was so different and it was so fresh and new and weird, weird. <laughs> it's like nothing you'd ever seen before. Yeah, but I love it. To be honest, Gold Gold Dust doing it now is like nothing that, excuse me, nothing that is around. Yeah, at the minute, different. Yeah, so. Good Gold stuff. Dust still going, 20 years strong. It, yeah, he's got at least an intercontinental title run, in my opinion. One oh, more left in Yeah, it. yeah, for sure. Big Mac is like gold title. That was cool. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, so yeah, let's set up a few between him and R-Truth, obviously, um, which will be a pre-show, coming to a pre-show near you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so that, that, that must be a match at Extreme Rules, right? Uh, not yet. It's not on the card, actually, is it? Not on the, the card, no. But, uh, it, it should be. be. It should be. Um, Maybe that'll be the great balls of fire. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Um, then we had the main event, which is actually really good. Uh, Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins. 
Very, very cool match. Uh, it's very cool, like, buckle bomb into a Superman punch. Which is a really cool move. Um, very, very buckle cool. Bomb. Buckle bomb? Yeah, like the buggy running bomb he does into mm. the corner. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's pretty cool. so, yeah. Yeah. The one he's injured everyone with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. It's the sting killer. <laughs> <laughs> sting killer, yeah. That's yeah. pretty much it, yeah. That's what it should be called. Cool. Yeah, it should be. Uh, not yeah, really, but, not out of respect. Yeah, of course. Um, R.I.P. Sting. Yeah. <laughs> but a very cool match. Um, Roman Reigns can wrestle, turns out. Um, Surprising. Shocking. Mm. You need to let me think otherwise, but he can actually wrestle. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> we we aren't Roman Reigns haters on this. No, I like, I like what's like. Um, we've said this so many times. <laughs> Although we do still, we, we do like to join in the, uh, oh, yeah, join in the <laughs> camaraderie of ripping the piss out of Roman Reigns. <laughs> yeah. But we don't think he's terrible at all because no, he isn't. Uh, he just isn't. Every main event match that he has, uh, apart from the one at WrestleMania, which sucked, not his mm. fault. Not his fault. Um, he's actually been very good. So yeah, great matches with AJ Styles, great matches with Cena. Yeah, good stuff. Um, but yeah, ended up lol when wins with a spear, and uh, a good match. Yeah, I liked it. Good times. Good main event. Quickly skim through SmackDown. Okay. And then we'll go on to our Extreme Rules predictions. Okay. Uh, highlight reel with Kevin Owens. Uh, very much like War tag match and shoot. Um, Sami Zayn and Nakamura versus uh, the others <laughs> Kevin Owens and Baron Corbin that was it um, the others yeah the others Fun the match faction. Fun match good guys win Nakamura and uh, Sami wins good stuff uh, Usos and uh, New Day had the, had the thing New, uh, New Day's gonna have a title shot at Money in the Bank that's the one and they'll win it probably but it's cool uh, little promo between them um, fun stuff we had another Fashion Files which is very funny with Fandango and uh, uh, Charles. Isn't it funny that these uh, these things that <laughs> just breeze. should not be funny, <laughs> yeah, just are great. Like yeah, the fashion fast thing is a brilliant. They're so good. Yeah, Tyler Breeze just up in, in drag again. Yeah, and they, he does. <laughs> they just have fantastic chemistry because Fandango is I don't know. He's just one of the funniest, exactly. driest performers like of comedy on the that WWE have. Yeah, Tyler Breeze um, played the same as well. Like when he was Chet Chetterfield on uh, <laughs> yeah. you know Southport Regional Wrestling. It's just the way. He delivers his character is very, very, very good. Yes. Underrated. Underappreciated. Yes, agreed. Good stuff. Uh, then we had uh, what's going to be a Fatal Five Ray match uh, between Charlotte, Natalia, Becky, uh, Tamina, and Carmella. And if ever won, that was going to be an end-winning contendership, contender at Money in the Bank. But before the match could start, uh, in Brawl and Jude, um, which I thought was Fatal Five Ray, just ring the bell. But whatever. Um, lots of spots no, going mate, on. That is, because wrestling, that's why. Well, yeah, of course. I didn't think of that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, everyone did a bunch of spots. Solid like a moonsault to the outside, as she does. Uh, then she powerbombed the talent to the table. It's cool. Um, then Shane McMahon came down and announced the first ever women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Got to make that history, cool. my friend. Yeah. Making Gotta keep history. making history. Time to make history, yeah. Persona. Now, what, what band's this? It's Persona. Persona Fire Engine. Not Engine Team. Um, Battle Theme. Oh, okay. Yeah. Take I haven't it. played it for a little while. I should get back on it. You should. Yeah. Um, it's wonderful. Uh, but yeah, so that's cool. First ever Money in the Bank women's match uh, with obviously Charlotte, Natalia, Becky Lynch, Tamina and Carmella. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, um, good. I think Charlotte will win. Uh, I mean, obviously we're going to have Money in the Bank predictions in a few weeks anyway. Probably. Um, yes. So yeah, probably Charlotte will win. When is it? Um, weeks? Just next one after the three more. So yeah, probably oh, So every weeks. two weeks at the minute wrestling is. So. <laughs> um, Working as overtime. Yeah. Cheers wrestling. Cheers the link. Uh, we had Rizango versus the Colognes. It's another fun match. Uh, at one point get knocked off the apron and come back on as the janitor from a couple weeks ago. Very funny. <laughs> and uh, end up winning with the Umbridge here. It's a Christian job move, which I like. Yeah, cool. It makes sense because he's all talking about his Prince Pretty and making yeah. it Umbridge. Cool. I like it. That's had so many names. It has, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the, it was the Impaler at one point. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, the Kill Switch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the it, Christian even called it the Unpretty at one point. Yeah, he did. So, yeah. Weird. Uh, but cool. I don't understand why moves change names. No, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's the same move. Yeah, it is. Um, then we had like a talking segment with Randy Orton and Jinder Mahal, which is kind of garbage, to be honest. Um, then we had the main event, which was AJ Styles versus Dolph Ziggler, which is really good. And shockingly, Dolph won with a super kick, of all things. Do AJ you know Styles will just take falls for anyone, won't he? Yeah, he was. It's because, shit. it's because he was in AJ's hometown, so naturally he's going to lose. Of course, there's yeah. that WWE tradition of, uh, <laughs> oh, you're in your hometown, there's no way you're winning. Yep. Sorry. No way we're sending these hometown fans happy. <laughs> yeah. No way. No way. Screw you guys. Yeah. What's your red line? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
but yeah, um, but yeah, it's cool to see Dolph winning with a super kick. Um, it's very, very shocking. I liked it. Good. It puts Dolph over as like a legitimate contender, which I don't think he was before. Because he's in the Money in the Bank match. He is, yeah. So, I mean, it makes sense that he, I mean, he has to win at least a match <laughs> yeah. in the build-up because otherwise, what's the point, I guess? Yeah. So, yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with it. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm, to be honest, the internet melts when AJ, whenever AJ Styles loses. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're burying him. He's buried him. Oh, my God. Ah, yeah, oh, my God. They're burying him. Yeah, he was WWE champion for nearly a year. He's been buried. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. It's Lost just, one mouth, Jesus. Yeah, man. It's just, oh, it's, the internet sucks. But, yep. Screw yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm Screw fine with it. people I mean, watching our podcast. Wait, wait not, not you guys. No, you guys, you, cool. wait, you guys are fine. You guys watching are fine because it's them other guys. Watch, watching us makes you immune to all our insults. So yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Even if you play <laughs> PC and if you watch this, you're immune. You're not a PC nerd. No, you're fine. Yeah, don't yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it's everyone else. Yeah, everyone else. Those other, other guys. Other leaders, yeah, some of the nerds. They don't watch us. Freaking dogs. Dogs. They don't listen to our podcast. <laughs> what the fuck? Why do they even bother having the internet? Yeah, God. What a waste of time. Waste. Yeah. Waste man. <laughs> someone at work called someone a waste man. I was like, wait, you know what that means? <laughs> Please tell me. Somebody, yeah. what, somebody at your work called somebody a waste man? Yeah, yeah. He's like, wait, what does that mean? Tell me. Come back. I'm assuming it doesn't <laughs> mean bin man. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I've never heard it before when, when you said it. Well, when, <laughs> yeah, there were some guys, we went to watch wrestling like last year or something, the year before, and there was a group of guys just like shouting at Kane and calling yes. him a waste man. <laughs> yeah. <It's>, what? <laughs> so it must mean something. Like, we just Duke it the dumpster Drozzy? That's right, right? Was that, was that a thing? Uh, he sounds, he, he was like a waste man. He literally thing. picked up waste and put it in a bin. Amazing. It's all gimmicks. Great. <laughs> I hope I said his name right. I'll look in the encyclopedia in a short while. Good, good idea. And it's good, actually. Um, anyway, Extreme Wars. Yay, it's this Sunday. Okay, good. Let's do some predictions. It has more matches than Backlash. Great. Um, by one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so first off, we have uh, which one? And Jasha Banks versus Noam Dar and Lisa Fox. Mixed tag match. Um, um, who have we got and why? To be honest, I don't really have an opinion, nor do I care for this feud. <laughs> yeah, good um, win. Good win together. I would like to see Noam Dar pick up a win. Me too. I like Noam Dar. I'm just going to go for that. Uh, I'm going to go for Noam Dar and uh, Alicia Fox. Wait, they're back together? I thought they split up. Uh, they did. Then they got back together because... Because reasons. wrestling, right? Because at least Fox. 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 Um, did you see that uh, Noam Dar's going to be at uh, an upcoming ICW event? Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Apparently WWE have a very good relationship with ICW because they helped them set up the uh, UK Championship tournament. Uh, yeah. Finn Balor was there at one point, wasn't he? Yeah. Well, he was injured, yeah. And uh, I think Mick Foley was there at some point too. Good. Cool. Good stuff. Good to see him helping the indies out. Yeah, absolutely. I would like to see Noam Dar pick up a win. He needs... He, ne- he needs a bit of traction. I mean, he's, he's had this storyline with Alicia going on for ages and ages now. It's time for him to win, move on, move forward. Yes, agreed. However, I'm going to say which one because wrestling. Because wrestling, yeah. 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 <laughs> Sasha Banks is down. Just, everyone loves Sasha Banks, so. Sure. Well, uh, I understand your logic and I'm, I agree with it. <laughs> yeah. They probably will win. Because wrestling. Because wrestling. And then we have uh, Neville versus Austin Aries for the Cruiserweight Championship in a submission match. I'm sure we'll know no, I'm going to say Austin Aries. Uh, okay. I think, I mean, they, they've had these matches now and Neville always seems to scrape a victory and come out on top. I think this time it is Austin Aries time to win the title hmm. because otherwise, what happens next for Austin Aries? True, true. Because, I mean, at least if Austin Aries wins, uh, great balls of fire, <sighs> Why is it called that? they can at least have a rematch. True. So um, this time, and I've, I've said Austin Aries every single time, but I'm going to say it again because one time I am going to be right and it's going to be this time. Austin Aries wins the <laughs> WWE Cruiserweight Championship. I've also said Austin Aries every single time. However, I've always been wrong. Therefore, I'm going with Neville. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, Aries. You've let me down too many times. The king of the Cruiserweights is going to win. That's that quality accent again. I thought Neville was in the room. Yeah, but he's in the room. There we got uh, the Hardy Boys versus uh, Charles and Cesaris Cesaro and Seamus in a steel cage match because Extreme Rules because yeah because Extreme Rules you have to have a stipulation of course you can't just have a match no quite impossible yeah um, I don't know the Hardys I guess yeah mm. Swanton Bomb from the top of the cage yeah there's going to be that in there oh yeah for sure okay let's get out of these I'm, mm. yeah it's going to be Hardys I can't, I can't see Cesaro and Seamus going to win it back just yet I oh, think it's time they split up. Amazing. I really do think it's time they split up. I don't know. I like him though. I know you They're do, cool. but I'm sorry. 
Oh. I like them. Okay. <laughs> but uh, wrestling. But, uh, because wrestling. <laughs> but yeah, I think Hardy's going to win. Yeah, I think so. I think we'll see the usual spots. Swanton bomb from the cage, all that sort of stuff. Hardy's win. Blah, blah, yeah. Blah. Deletes. <laughs> Delete chance everywhere. Unless they lose and they come out a bit broken. Who knows? Maybe. 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 Probably not, though. Nope. Um, then we've got uh, Alexa Bliss versus Bailey in a kendo stick and a ball match. Sigh. Just, just extreme wars match. Why? Kendo stick on a pole. Yes. <sighs> Alexa Bliss. Yep, yeah, agreed. I'll do it now. Um, for <laughs> no other reason other than I want Alexa Bliss to win. Me too. And I don't... I think she's... You know, apart from the shit segment on Raw... I think she's just got momentum on her side. I think um, she's been fantastic these last few weeks. Um, she's been fantastic since she came onto the main roster, and I've spoke yeah. about it enough. But um, yeah, I think Alexa Bliss because yeah, she's agreed. not long had it, and don't take it off her just yet because otherwise we get that that thing again of bouncing the title back and forth. It's not good for the title. Agreed. So um, Alexa Bliss wins. Yeah. So I've been teasing this thing on like Raw leading up to it. So can Bailey get extreme? So what I think is going to happen is Bailey's going to get the kendo stick and use it, but then Alexa Bliss is going to cheat or do something and uh, end up winning and get the title back. My prediction. Okay. Um, so we've got uh, Dean Ambrose versus The Miz. The Miz. For the IT title. But if Dean is disqualified, he loses the belt. For some reason. Extreme rules? Extreme rules. Mm. What kind of match is it? Um, just a burger match. Just a match? Yeah. Just a match, but it still has a stipulation. Yes. Dean can't get disqualified if he loses the belt. Um, so that's definitely going to happen, isn't it? Probably. Maybe. Miz is going to cheat. Make it out like Dean Ambrose has cheated. Yeah, like the old Eddie Guerrero uh, spot. Yeah, that uh, kind of thing. Miz wins. Um, yeah, I think the same thing. Same logic. Rightly um, so. Yeah. Miz has been great as well. I mean, he deserves... I mean, whilst the IC title is... And it is the main championship on Raw. Pretty much. Um, why not have the Miz have it? Why not? Yeah. Give Miz, him that Miz spotlight. Is, yeah, the Miz has been saying that... Dean has done nothing with the IC title and he was made it relevant again and he's kind of right. Uh, yeah, he's absolutely correct. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, Miss. So then Miss. 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 Then we have uh, Roman Reigns. A fatal favourite. A fair. 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 A Bray White and Samoa Joe. I saw somebody walking around the knee today in a Ballot Club uh, leather jacket. Oh, nice. It was hot outside. Oh, yeah. Must have been dedicated to uh, Finn Balor. Maybe. The Ballot Club. So you're going to make old uh, too sweet. It was, uh, <laughs> I only saw the back of it. Oh, it was okay, too far away. I was just there in the knee going, please, <laughs> please. Please. Hello. Hey, no. guy. Okay, yeah. I'm oh. sorry. Just look like an idiot in the knee. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. Favorite favorite match. Extreme Wars. Full on the one contendership. It's going to fake Brock Lesnar at <sighs> Great Wars of Fire. All money to bank? No, Maybe. no. Great Balls of Fire. Probably Great Balls of Fire, yeah. Money in the Bank's a Smackdown pay per view, isn't it? I think it's both, isn't it? No. Oh, okay. I don't think so. No. When's Great Balls of Fire? I don't know. I was on Money in the Bank. So yeah, it must be Smackdown. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Probably. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> who even knows anymore? Not just apparently. There's so, much, so many pay per views, and we don't even know who is doing what and when. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, so yeah, who've we got? Who's going to win? Oh, Finn, it's tough, man. Um, I mean, yes, it makes perfect sense for Finn to win. Uh, he's come back. The problem is, I want Finn to win the championship. Me too. But I don't want him to win it at Great Balls of Fire. <laughs> I want him to win it somewhere decent. <laughs> yeah, somewhere that I hadn't got a shit name. <laughs> <laughs> like win it at SummerSlam. Yeah. Well, big um, moment, fireworks going up and all that. Roman Wayne. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. <laughs> Roman Reigns. <laughs> Uh, my interest is waning in Roman. Uh, I think uh, uh, I think Roman <laughs> wins. Um, okay. Or. Or? Well, it's tough, isn't it? Because they had this thing where it was like Roman and Brock were going to fight each other. Mm -hmm. So that's going to happen, isn't it, at some point? It is. Now, do they push <coughs> that for SummerSlam? Or do they have it at um, Jerry Lee Lewis' Great Balls of Fire? <laughs> is that who did it? I don't know. You lost me about music. I'm gonna just gonna do a quick, uh, quick, Google. quick bit of googling. I'm pretty sure it was Jerry Lee Lewis. Okay, I take a word for it. Sure. Um, I hope I don't Google Great Balls of Fire and it comes up with WWE straight away. <laughs> um, I'll be so angry. Go on, you can't. So, so it makes sense that Roman win because it's Roman... Jerry Lee Lewis. Sorry. Oh, okay, there you go. Uh, so Roman Reigns has beaten Undertaker at WrestleMania. Brock Lesnar has beaten Undertaker at WrestleMania. So it makes sense for them to be in a fight. So who's the best at beating Undertaker? This is a more of a SummerSlam match though, isn't it, right? It is. I thought so. Does it need to be for the championship though? Maybe. Shrug. The Maybe one... We'd actually be best place. 
Yeah. The one, was it? The one? The one who beat the one in 21 and 1. Or something. I don't even know. <laughs> who knows? The one <laughs> and the other one who beat the one in 20... Yeah, the one and the other one because who beat maths? the one in 21 and 1. And now 21 and 2. Because wrestling maths. Wrestling. <laughs> because wrestling maths. Ask Scott Steiner about maths. Oh, God. Google it. You've seen he's, been, he's back on TNA now? Oh, God, yeah. Because <laughs> TNA just love Dragon Mac. The old stars, for no reason. Yeah, WCW. Yep. Um... Oh, you know, I think it's tough, man, because um, I see Brock versus Roman Reigns at SummerSlam. Mm-hmm. And I th- I think they'll want to save it for then. So, <laughs> man, I'm torn. You pick first. Hmm, I am also torn. Um, do I just say Finn Balor to have him lose at Great World of Wine and then Roman goes after it? Uh, that's crap though it is crap I that's agree. crap well also when say someone's shocking like Samojo we don't know a heel but to heel but fuck me that'd be killer yeah, it'd be awesome oh, <laughs> it'd be amazing Brock versus Samoa Joe man yeah. great balls of fire's gone up <laughs> yeah I guess it has my balls will be on fire for that <laughs> <laughs> also they've been teasing feuds between Finn and Bray and Seth and Joe so it makes sense that Roman to win it because he's doing what left over Ooh. but I, d- <clears throat> I don't think they'll want to give away that match at Great Balls of Fire. Yeah. I think they'll want to promote it for SummerSlam. The WrestleMania of the summer. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, it's hard. It's hard, internet. It's tough. Help me. Um, <laughs> I'm interested to hear other people's predictions. So if you do watch yeah. this or listen to it or whatever, leave us a comment with your prediction because this is a real head scratcher. It is. Like we've been, we flew through the rest of these predictions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's come to this and we're like, oh, what about this and this and this? <sighs> um... Good. I'm going to go out left field Smojo wow okay shocking moment of the year or something I don't know it's going to be a cinema hall of the of, of war but, but way cooler than that but, but way cooler <laughs> you seen the Jinder Mahal shirts I haven't actually Has I said one? to Steve I was going to order one and he called me a smark <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> um, yeah. please get Steve back on here actually I haven't had him for a while yeah we should um, oh, fucking hell I'm so torn <laughs> I'm going to say Finn Finn okay okay it's probably the safe bet, I think. I think so, but at the same time, I don't see where it goes. I don't I don't want Finn to lose at Great Balls of Fire because does that halt his momentum? Because then what happens to Finn? Mm. But you could say the same for any of the guys. What happens to Bray if he loses to Brock? I mean, can you see yes. Brock having a creative match with any of these guys? Yeah. The only one he has any sort of chemistry with is Reigns. True. But they're not going to give that away at Great Balls of Fire. They're yeah, going to build that likely. for SummerSlam. Definitely. Um, for me, Great Balls of Fire is a throwaway pay per view right now. <laughs> yeah, because, just on the based on the name alone. <laughs> yeah, it, well, yeah, exactly that. Jesus Christ. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I, yeah, I, I think Finn will win. Okay. Go Finn. I'll go That's with Joe. my prediction at least. I'm going to cool. say Finn. Cool. I'll say Joe. Just to be. I would love that though. Shocking. Finn, shocking I would win. love it if Joe won. Me too. That'd be a really cool match to see those two go at it. Yeah. I'd so, love to see Joe as the champion. Yeah, that'd be that'd be super super cool. Uh, but we will see. We'll see what happens. That's Extreme Worlds. It's nice to hear a mention of the Universal Championship for a change. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. Mm. Um, so yes, come back next week to find out how long we were. Yep. <laughs> when Seth Rollins wins. <laughs> yep. And they, or no, Roman Reigns wins and they are indeed giving away Brock versus Reigns at Great Balls of Fire. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bailey uh, wins. Uh, yeah, basically the opposite to us. Yeah, but that's the exact opposite, yeah. If you're a betting man. Bet against us. Yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun Finn. times. Hello. Where's the oh my goodness. Uh, Where's the book of love? Yeah, it is. Oh. It's in your hands. Oh my god. Yeah. Magic. Oh my god. I have it's magic powers now. That. Yeah. You didn't know about magic powers? I did. I do now. Yeah. Well, there you go. Finn. Hello. This week's episode of the Games and Graps podcast is brought to you by the letter C. Senor. Uh. <laughs> Ooh. You right? Just, you look pained. No, no, I've opened it straight, Chris Benoit. Oh, ooh. Nasty. Who? Who's that? I don't remember. Some guy. Since, since, yeah, it's from my memory. <laughs> WWE University from me. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was a Canadian heavyweight championship. Oh, wow. Did not know that. Yeah, it lasted a year. Yeah. In fact, not even that. <laughs> Good times. Byron Sexton. Sexton. You've gone too far. Oh, shit. <laughs> Capitol punishment as a review. Camacho. Oh yeah. 
He was a uh, Sinkara's bodyguard for a while. Yeah. Until he realized why, he needed one. Why did he need one? Yeah, exactly. Probably beat him up. Yeah, probably. I think he's in, t- he's in New Japan now, I think. Who is? Uh, Camacho. Oh, okay. I think he's uh, like part of the Bully Club, wasn't he? Of course he is, anyways. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Me and you are. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, well, that guy is the most 80s looking guy of all time. Chris <laughs> Walker. <laughs> nice. Chris Walker. Chris Nowinski, who is a big advocate for concussion things. Ooh. Short Palumbo. I remember him. CM Punk, he's out. Never heard of him. Some dick. <laughs> um, Clarence Mason. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Good name. Good, solid name. Clarence. One of the most li- litigious. Litigious. Thank you. You're welcome. Any words? I'm impressed. <laughs> litigious. One of the most litigious human beings to ever practice law, totally Clarence means. Mason, <laughs> debuted on WWE television as the attorney for James E. Cornette. Ah. Mason made his presence immediately felt as he was able to regain the tag team titles lost the previous night at In Your House. Mm, what? Since Owen Hart. He needs to read his again. <laughs> Mason made his presence immediately felt as he was able to regain the tag team titles lost the previous he, night. Oh, he lost He lost in the previous night. So we gained them on. Yeah, but that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense, does it? No. Right. This is an. <laughs> this is the sentence. Start of the sentence. Mason made his presence immediately felt as he was able to regain the tag team titles lost the previous night at in your house since Owen Hart. What? <laughs> that doesn't make no sense. What does that mean? Who wrote this? So did he <laughs> single-handedly win the tag team championships since Owen Hart? What does that even mean? It's not even English. Who wrote this? You're fired. <laughs> right, the su- right. Since Owen Hart, it's comma, amazing. The, the superstar pinned, comma, was not recognised as the title holder in the match. What? <laughs> this, what? Is, it's, this is not English. This, who was this written by? <laughs> okay. Which, well. I'm going to get you to look at this afterwards to make sure I'm not being a dipshit. <laughs> Mason then contested every decision made that was not in the best interest of his clients and threatened lawsuits whenever possible. Mason was also known to hand no wait for hand delivering subpoenas to superstars. The fuck is this? What gimmick is this? Uh, Why is this? A bad one. <laughs> After his bad tenure gimmick. with Camp Cornet, he focused on the career of Crush because sure, why not? Yeah. Mason soon guided the Nation of Domination, and t- until the Did group he? disbanded <laughs> in the late nineties. I no no memory of that. <laughs> wait, what? Okay. This 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 a race from my memory as well, just like Chris Benoit. <laughs> Mason then left WWE and opened his own law practice in South Florida, as he himself proclaimed, "Don't worry, Clarence Mason is on the scene, and justice will be served." Mason will be forever remembered as one of the most controversial figures of the nineteen nineties. Will he? Will he though? <laughs> will he though? The fact that neither of us know who he is. <laughs> look, look how poorly written that let's is. Have a look. Let's have a look. Right. Oh, I've no memory of this guy. I want a an up to date version of the WWE Encyclopedia <laughs> to land on my lap magically, like Finn made that one magically appear. <sighs> it's not working. Sorry, I'm using more powder today. I need to see if they've improved it because that is poor. And if you've listened to this podcast, if you are a religious listener of this podcast, you will know. So the WWE Encyclopedia is one of the most terribly written pieces of shit, like, ever. Let's see, he was able to regain the attacking trials he lost a few night. Oh, I think, wait, what? The, since, the punctuation's wrong, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, since Owen Hart, comma, the two bizarre pin was not... Oh, hold on, wait. Tim Tiles lost a few night in, in the house since Owen, since Owen Hart, the two bizarre pin was not recognised as a title holder in the match. It still makes no sense. Rubbish. Right. It's really bad. <laughs> very, very poor. This week's episode of the Games and Grats podcast was unfortunately brought to you by the letter C. Senor. Thank you, Clarence. <laughs> well, he is one of the most controversial figures of the 1990s yeah, in all of the world. Yeah, Not just WWE. Off. Didn't even specify WWE. Yeah. It specified... Well, it didn't specify anything. So it's <laughs> literally one of the most controversial figures of the 1990s. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. 
This is the Games and Grass podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Friday across podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. And youtube.com forward slash Sunny Finn Play and youtube.com forward slash Daydreamer Gaming. Yes. This has been episode 63. I am Sunny. I'm Finn. And we will see you next time, guys. Thank you very much for listening. Take it easy. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Goodbye.